The Laval Rouge or football team has won six of the last 10 Vanier Cups. We look at the dynasty in this week's last word with Stephen Brunt. Stephen, thanks for joining us in our Sportsnet studios from Toronto. Now, six hey, of the last 10 Vanier Cups. How do we explain this dominance? Well, it's, it's a remarkable story, and it really goes back even before the Laval program started in 96, back into the mid-1990s, the early 1990s, when at a time when there was no professional football being played in the province of Quebec, when there was no uh, football being played in the French universities in Quebec, there was a grassroots boom in football participation in the province that showed itself in high school and in Cégep football. And Laval started this program in 96, more than 20 years after all of the other French universities had bailed out of football and took advantage of that unbelievable wealth of talent and then put a bunch of money on top of that talent and became the dominant the dominant football program, college football program in Canada. Yeah, I mean, speaking of that money, uh, thanks to private sponsorship, the team has a budget of exceeding you know, $2 million, more than three times the size of some other programs. Is Laval changing how these programs operate? Well, it certainly threw down, they threw down the gauntlet to everybody else in Canada because you know, that kind of money, you, they're not, it's not about scholarships, it's not about the players being rewarded, it's more about the things you can do around a program, the kind of facilities you can build, the kind of a coaching staff you can build, the technical stuff around a, a program. Laval had the ability to do that with all of that private cash and other universities in order to compete with Laval, and they're still struggling to compete with Laval, really had to try and do the same thing. If you go to a place like the University of Western Ontario, Western, They've tried to build that kind of a football infrastructure, but honestly, everybody else is still lagging behind the Rouge Or. Yeah, speaking of you know English schools like Western, you know in recent years we've seen French schools like Laval, Sherbrooke, and Montreal regularly finishing in the top half of the division, and then the English schools like McGill, Concordia, Bishops, you know they finish in the bottom. Why hasn't the English side been able to keep pace? Well, I, again, I think, it's, I think it's the supply of talent. It's where, if, if you're a French-speaking football player in the province of Quebec and you want to be educated in French uh, and continue to play the game at a high level, you're going to go to Sherbrooke, you're going to go to Mont University of Montreal, you're going to go to Laval, you're not going to go to one of those English schools. And those English schools, meanwhile, are competing against every other university in Canada. So McGill is competing against Western, against Queens, against Calgary, against the Atlantic schools. It's, it's a very different landscape. They have a, the, the French schools have a monopoly on that talent, and they've really taken advantage of it. And now, earlier this month, Laval drew almost 15,000 fans for the Dunsmore Cup. Does attendance like that you know, peak CFL's interest? I, I think they have been interested in Quebec, although I think there's a couple of factors. They don't want to wreck what the Alouettes have going in Montreal. They don't want to divide that French market uh, and hurt the Alouettes in any way. And I, I think that they would look at the same issues that the NHL looks at when they go into Quebec. It's a government town. There's not a lot of businesses that might support a team by buying private boxes, for instance. But, you know, realistically, if you're talking about expansion to Moncton or Halifax, which the CFL has talked about, or going into Quebec City, I think they'd be way better off going into Quebec City. All right, Stephen, thanks for your insight in all this, and we'll see you next week. Thanks, Wilder.